Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, if this is your first time here. I'm a freelance makeup artist based out of Michigan. And today we're going to be doing a bronzed summer makeup look. It's basically meshing the blush and the bronze tones to where you can't really put a finger on which is where, but still gives you an overall healthy and glowy look. So my skin is already prepped. I have gone in with micellar water, my Fenty Fat Water Toner, my Fenty Mattifying Primer in the center of my face, as well as my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream all over, okay? Skin prep is key for this, especially for the summer heat. Although you wanna go in with much lighter layers of makeup, even if you do want to focus on skincare, just make sure you're allowing all that skin prep to really penetrate into your skin for about five minutes so that you don't have a barrier between the foundation and the skin that would cause it to slip around. All right. So, like I said, my actual skincare is already applied, but what I always like to introduce right before my foundation is the Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. This is so good for adding that very light grip to your skin. If you don't really like the Milk Hydro Grip or the e.l.f. one that's like the dupe, this is a great alternative. Now I'm going to go in with my recent favorite foundation. This is the About Face Performer Foundation. Let me give you some context. My number one favorite foundation of all time was the Dior Air Flash, but of course that's discontinued now. I just love how lightweight that felt on my skin. It was the exact coverage that I wanted and it was so long lasting. So that is sadly discontinued. This foundation, not sponsored, not sponsored. This foundation has rekindled my love for foundation and what actually foundation should be, which is a very light veil all over your skin to create a uniformed Tone. It doesn't have to be full coverage all the time because you can really just manipulate the coverage of the base with other products in thin layers that will still make your skin feel breathable without compromising the natural look. So I'm going to go in with the shade M2 Olive and F2 Olive. Also, one of the first brands that have really matched me since Dior because in Dior's um, Air Flash, I was in 2WO, and I can go in with the face and body from Dior, which I'm also really intrigued to try, but that's for another day. For now, this is on the pedestal for me in terms of coverage, in terms of longevity, how it feels on my skin, as well as the color match. So I just mix in about a one-to-one -one ratio on the back of my hand. I always deposit the foundations on the back of my hand in a very thin layer first pick it up with the foundation brush and kind of really work it into the brush and its bristles just like this. And then I'll start on the outer corner in pressing motions. All right, so we have the first layer of our base complete and now I'm gonna go in with a cream contour slash bronzer. This is the Hey Honey Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer from Milani. And I'm going to use my MAC 133S brush. I'm gonna pick it up directly from the pan, warm it up in the palm of my hand, and then from the top of my ear, bring it downward. I want to focus this a bit more in the cheekbone versus all over the cheek because I want to let the blush slash bronzer color do most of the work. This is simply for definition and bringing a shadow into the face. So we have our shadows all over our face. I'm gonna actually apply a tiny bit of this Milani contour in my crease as well because I love the undertone it has. It creates a beautiful backdrop for the eyeshadows that we're gonna do as well. It really like enhances the natural bone structure of your face. It's a tip I learned from makeup by Mario, actually. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer, and because our base is so dewy and there's so much moisture everywhere, I have the clearance, if you will, to go in with a drier concealer so that it adds a bit more contrast and so that I don't have to use a ton of powder underneath my eyes because the formula itself will do most of the work. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and same protocol as my foundation. I always thin it out on the back of my hand first. And then I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and concentrate this on the hollow parts of my face and anywhere that I want a bit extra brightness. I wanna bring you in a little bit closer for the star of the show, which is our Patrick Ta 
Cream Blush Duo. This is in the shade She's So LA. This is going to give you the perfect, I'm burnt, but about to be tanned, wash across your cheeks. It'll turn chocolate before you know it. Dip it into the cream side. And I'm actually going to start right here, almost underneath my eye, and moving in circular motions to create the most natural flush along the entire cheek and almost pulling it down into the bronzer. And you notice I'm still utilizing those tapping motions, especially since we have layered so many different liquid and cream products, you don't want to disturb them. And with this type of makeup also, you don't want to focus so much on snatching your face with a triangle of concealer underneath your eyes. So don't be afraid to bring this cream blush almost all the way across. And then whatever correctional concealing you want to do, you can go in back with that brush and slightly feather over it. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. And I want to keep this look very monochromatic, so I'm going to go in with the powder side of the blush and dust it all over bringing it up towards the crease and feathering it outwards by the temple. Now we're gonna go in with her Patrick Ta Major Dimensions One Palette. And this is only if you wanna introduce a true shimmer and metallic to your eye. I'm going to mix in the fourth and the second shade on my finger and just tap this on the center of my lid. Got to be glued on my brows and the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. These are the eyes complete. I now want to move on to the skin and setting certain areas. I'm going to use this Morphe 2 tiny little brush. I have mixed in my two favorite powders, the One Size Blurring Setting Powder and the Say Air Set. Make sure I don't have any creases underneath my eyes. And because we let our base set, I'm using my finger to also kind of pick up any excess product. You can also use a beauty blender for this step, but I feel like a beauty blender just keeps introducing moisture to the skin. And with powder, we want to eliminate that moisture. So I like to go in with my finger to pick it up and then keep looking up to avoid any creasing and start setting my under eye in back and forth motions. And I'm using a small enough brush to where it's pinpointing it underneath the eyes and we still keep this very healthy glow on our cheeks. For like a true celebrity looking red carpet ready makeup look, I always avoid setting my forehead or at least like this part right here because they're like in line with one another. It just creates the most beautiful bounce of light that makes the skin look healthy. If you are very oily, then I would of course powder it and then just concentrate like a little bit of setting spray on a beauty blender right there above the forehead. Now I'm gonna go in with my powder layer of the Patrick Ta blush on my cheeks and this Morphe and Ariel A21 brush. And I'm going to focus it on the apples of the cheeks. And as I have less product on the brush, really diffusing it on the temple and almost by the eye area. And for our lip liner, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Cream Glide lip liner in the shade Baddest beige, I believe it is. Last but not least, that Patrick Ta blush. It's the star of the show. It's the star of the show on the center of the lips as well. All right, this is our finished summer bronzed makeup look, if you will. You know why I think this also works is because it's kind of the perfect summer into fall transition makeup because we're really introducing those like warm undertone. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you on the next one.